Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will run from September 22nd through the 28th, 2019. All right. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. It is the free way to support the channel. So please do so if you're feeling moved. Um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera and pulled the cards for the sake of time. All right, let's get into it. So the situation this week, okay, fire truck, <laughs> is page of pentacles. All right, so this is saying I, myself, am learning and uh, wanting to expand. This is always for me. My my stability is elsewhere. I'm taking this pentacle and I'm going over here and doing this with it. And I'm putting it over here in this. I'm investing elsewhere. The the page of pentacles always says I, him, myself, herself. So it's definitely about you, Jim and I, um, maybe doing something more tangible in regards to your stability and yourself, okay? The advice here is be strong and knowing that whatever it is you're doing and what you're putting your energy, effort, time into will pay off. Be convicted. Stand true in your convictions because this card says in the present, if you do, it'll lead you to that path or you'll be on that path to getting exactly what it is you want out of a situation. Um... This talks about it talks about the ego, it talks about sex and intimacy, it talks about even the mystery of of maybe another's financials or just the mystery surrounding another. Uh, also it talks about merging, mergers that you may have already, you know, put yourself in, life mergers, you know, marriage and or, or merging uh, finances with another talks about big money though loans and inheritance investments assets uh, things of those natures uh, but there being an air of mystery around that I don't know if that's you uh, Gemini or there's someone else also it talks about once again scholarly energy being strong enough to do something for yourself knowing that this is going to get you where you need to be so I don't know if there's like some negative self-talk or either there's negativity coming from others. Um, there's a divide too in regards to maybe um, you have to separate yourself or divorce from one position and go to another. The outcome here is a ten of pentacles. Nice. Uh, you're from the page to the ten. Uh, this is uh, a long-term goal of yours it may even be the culmination fulfillment of your long-term goal here uh, it's about masculine energy i don't know if there is like i said someone a sense of holding back or someone trying to hold you back or uh family family money uh someone didn't do right with the money it's about what you saying i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do from myself this is about reputation you may be getting some some uh attention you may be in the spotlight the star card you could be dealing with an aquarius if not you're um Definitely feeling like you're in the right path. Wow, At, under that is a fool card. Definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius, or there's just an element of going into a new direction, taking a new path, and sticking to it, being strong enough to stick to it because you know it's going to lead you to um, having fulfilled long term goals and, and lead you to feeling like you're on the right path. This talks about spiritual path. It talks about feeling like you're on the right path. Healing and renewal. What's this about? Page of Wands. Someone may try to come in and tell you, you know, a conditional message. Maybe 
you know, I'll do this if you do that. Let's do this and then do that. And then, you know, if you do this, then this can happen or that can happen or I'll do this. Or if you, you know, it's, it's a tie here. The page of wands is about maybe even an exciting message of, of taking action coming in. But if it's coming from another source that's um, directly related to this new adventure, this new exciting endeavor, then it's kind of conditional. They want you to move as they move, you know? What is this in regards to for the Gemini? Four swords, maybe what you prayed about, what you're trying to heal from. Um, there could have been illness, there could have been, there's a need for you to think about this message that comes in also. Wow, and then the hangman comes out. Yeah, there's a this uh, because it seems like this will be you making a decision that is permanent. You really couldn't go back if you said yes. Can't go back on it. You can only go forward. Even if you feel like it's a bad decision after you start to move forward, there. This is a message. Uh, uh, no, excuse me. This is a a decision made in permanence. It it might even cause some upheaval. Of, of your world like you, you kind of toss your world upside down in regards to have that ten of pentacles right this is about commitment you know committing to one position a lot of us have been playing and straddling the fence on self-employment and doing something that directly benefits us outside of being attached to large entity corporation organization the universe is asking you to make the choice make the decision whatever it is you want they'll get behind a ten of cups yeah you can have what it is you want the highest level of happiness here uh, Something's also been hidden. It may, be, may come to light. There's two women here. Woo. Three women here. My God. Okay. Yeah. Um, it could be about entrepreneurship. It could be about this. What is this about? We're going to see because that's a whole nother read right there. Some of you can be dealing with more than one person. You got to make a decision of who you want, what you want. There might be an element of not being confident enough to uh, or uncertain about self-employment, uncertain about money, uncertain about a connection, a romantic connection, maybe even a love affair. There's uncertainty and lack of confidence. What is this about? Memories. And being true to you and changing your mind. Yeah, it looks like you take a minute to think about what it is you want to do next. Then self-employment, as I've said. New career at the bottom of the deck. Could definitely be you straddling the fence on that. It says that it's gonna be very good for you. Nothing in life comes easy. So in the in the interim of, of changing career, going from maybe employed to self-employment, there might be some upheaval, some change. Deal with it, go through it, plan for it if you can. Look for a sign. Success. Nice. Big happy changes. We have a yes answer. We do clarify our yes answers here at the channel. Let's see what this is about. This is really good for you, Gemini. I'm, I'm happy for you, especially some of you who are trying to embark on self-employment or who already have, and you're just wondering, is this good? Nine of Wands says, yes, your efforts will pay off. The hard work will pay off. Keep going, don't give up. Defend your position. You are the magician. This does govern Gemini. Uh, you can make things happen. Play your cards right. Use your words well. Use your money wise. Use your energy, your time. Why even wiser? Is that if that's a word? Um, don't get too stuck and bogged down in your emotions. 
do use your intuition um, it's about bringing everything together to make whatever it is happen you have the idea the idea is manifest in the heavenly realm so it's about now bringing it down to the earth, the earth where we are now making it tangible making it real okay yep you might need to revise some plans here planning poor planning or lack of um, plan here uh, there might be an element of There's three queens here, down here. Somebody might have a new boyfriend, new girlfriend, new love interest. They're being sneaky. They're being the magician. Then they get the three of wands. Yeah, definitely. Um, they could be making long-term plans. Or this is like a long-term connection. Two of wands. Yeah, they're making long-term plans to reduce. They want to come out of third party. This could be you, Gemini. This could be someone you're dealing with. The death card here. Um, they may be feeling like or you're feeling like you're losing something of value here and this could also go right back into self-employment losing that that good cushy job that you know a check will come every week two weeks month whatever um, and going into self-employment says you have the will of fortune things will come to culmination for you okay now the will is turning that there is uh, good luck on your side but keep in mind we do not govern luck we don't get to tell luck how to enter our life we just get to know that we're lucky right so the will is turning in your favor all right Gemini I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity do know that you can do whatever it is you are after whatever it is you're trying to do um, you have big happy changes if you feel like you have a question about especially self-employment because it could be very scary um, and, but you don't have a whole bunch of money to spend on this situation or the confusion that is you. Book the situation. Advice and outcome reading is $9.99. The link is below. Uh, or if you feel like you need a full reading, um, click the link to go to my website and book a reading there. Take advantage of coupon code 10 off 35 That's $10 off any reading, $35 or more. Thank you, Gemini. Take care. Many blessings to you. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.